all right folks so what is going on back with the second video today and it was some live commentary and we have take out we have taken out the um the other ones and uh, we have took out the uh what's the name the uh penalty game and what do you call it the uh fucking what the hell is his name what what the fuck is the name uh you guys know what the hell I'm talking about. We took out Penalty Game and Forbidden Chalice, and we have thrown in um, the Trap Tricks because that's what I would really, that's what I would play if um, I did have enough. But uh, I mean, if I did have the what's the names on deck, man, I love this card. This card put in so much work. But as you can see here, we just have our free what's the name, and then I believe here we'll just set Call by the Grave in Trap Tricks. And hopefully that it kind of get me because like I said, um, oh wait, oh fuck. We probably should have, we, oh yeah, we, we definitely should have just started off with that. What do we hit here? Do we hit spells? I think we probably do. I think we just hit spells because I, I, I can care less about traps. Let's see what he does though. Let's see what he's actually playing. He might not even be playing true Draco. Um, wait, we should have activated it now. Oh, he's not playing true Dracos fuck that kind of actually hurts he's not playing true draco oh he's playing cosmos what the fuck oh, okay never mind we can't even activate anything regardless so this is gonna actually kind of hurt we probably should have set the swallow slash this is actually gonna go this is actually going to hurt a bit because i don't think there's really anything we can really do we probably should have just started off with this but yeah we, we, we really don't got anything else to do he's probably probably going to get what's the name now he's probably going to get the the five star yeah slip rider and he's going to probably target this which he should do and yeah we're just going to do this call spells because i don't know if he's even playing any oh my god yeah we just lost here uh yeah we lost this game is over yeah this this game is over we're going to game two we're going to game two um so yeah uh i mean that that shit did not work at all but like I said, there's nothing really we can change in here. Um, the effect veilers we could take out, I guess, for um, Froiloins, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's the best thing. Because effect veiler really doesn't matter in this matchup. Froiloin would, would be pretty good. That card was clutch for me as well. And as always, um, yeah, you just draw terrible whenever um, it's game two or three. Uh, so yeah, man, uh, we're not, not starting off too fucking good, but, uh, it's, it's, oh my God. And even the indulgence, um, that's, that's upsetting. That's very upsetting. Um, let's see if this gamma could at least work. Um, fuck. Well, he had a handful of monsters. Didn't look like this gamma is going to work too much. Uh, I think we're just going to lose here. Actually, no, we have Froiloin, so oh my god, he drew another fucking Dark Destroyer. What well, it is at three? Never mind. He, I thought it was a pot of desires that he used. Oh, there's an indulgent, so it it sucks that we we can't pretty much bring that out. Now, do we gamma this? I don't think so. I don't think we gamma this. I don't think gamma is really uh, gonna even change what's happening here. Um because yeah, he does have the fire guy. He's gonna go slip rider, like I said. Gamma really doesn't matter against the Cosmos. Um, what we really do is want to hit the True Kings out of his fucking hand. And then it seems like he probably has multiple True Kings. Um, there's another Terraforming. So now this means that um, if he grabs what's the name, we, we're just in trouble. But um, if, he, if he does grab a, if he does grab a Cosmo Town, that means he has enough steam to, you know, push for game here. If he grabs Diagram um it's not game i would suspect i wouldn't suspect it's game he grabbing another diagram so that means he's trying to get to another true king all right there's that once again all this does not matter because like i said we do have Froiloin, so Froiloin is able to protect us and my god did she put in so much fucking work um, at the regionals um and definitely if you guys didn't see the first video definitely go check that out i'll discuss my regional um pretty much what happened at my regional so um, yeah, he's going for another diagram. So I'm guessing he's popping Dark Destroyer again. That would probably be the best decision. It's all free. Um, he's going to get a True King birth him at. Um, and like I said, we don't care about this per se. We don't really care about nothing he's really doing. But if he goes BFD, we're kind of... Wait, why would you go Stormtroopers? 
you must be linking these two off and then yeah he is going to link those wait wow okay well yeah see then, then now we have to do it because if we don't if we don't gamma now we, we're just in a lot of trouble here <laughs> if we don't gamma now we're just in a lot of trouble and of course he does have another cosmo in his hand so not really too much we can do um so yeah man i'm thinking probably just go virus i don't like rivalry man i really don't um rivalry really did not do anything for me um even when i did resolve it it, it just was not good really wasn't worth it um yeah, oh this is the fire yeah okay um so yeah he's able to go what's the name so that's cool he's able to, that, that's fathom why don't i call her burfam at yeah, so he's able to still do this, but like I said, I mean, that's a true king play. I mean, he's already committed his normal summon, so that's the best thing you can do. True king of all calamities, that's fine. Uh, yeah, both of these get banished. Well, there's a trap trick, so that doesn't help. He's probably going to call it darks. Um, actually, this actually does help because we're able to get the, uh, what's the name? <laughs> we actually can survive. We can literally survive and win the game. Uh, what he should call fire. He only seen fire, right? So he should call fire. No, he's calling dark. I don't know why. There's no reason to be calling dark here. Um, so we'll set the trap tricks and then just proceed to wait. Uh, we still have a chance, man. I think he's out of true kings. He probably has another one. That's about, about it. There's a fucking straw man in his hand. That's fine. Um, that's cool. So yeah, that's there's nothing really we can do right here. Nothing we can do. Um, he's probably gonna, oh no, he still has, he's probably still has another true, another true king. I th they usually only play about three or four. No, he, he has another one. Okay. Well, this trap tricks is gonna do his, do, do his duty. Oh, he played two waters and two what's the names? Oh, then he can, uh, yeah, he can do this and change everything to water, right? Uh, oh, only monsters in, oh, okay. Well, yeah, he's, he's going for it. He's definitely going for some. For some spicy plays here, but <clears throat> he's he doesn't know that this uh, what's the name is going to pretty much secure the bag. So that's what it's going to pretty much do. Uh, yeah. So if if he doesn't, Jesus Christ, if he doesn't realize um, pretty much how VFD works, if he doesn't know how VFD works, we're still winning. Uh, let me see. What is he calling? Don't call dark. Don't call dark. Oh, he calls water. Okay. So what does it say? All face up monster on the field become that actually. Okay. All right. So now we're, we're, we're fine. We're going to survive this duel. Uh, unless what, what does the blue one do? What does the blue one do? Uh, I think it banishes three, right? Oh, on oh my. Oh, it doesn't even fucking target. Are you kidding me? It doesn't target, does it? I don't think it targets. Why does the win one fucking blow back row? That is so idiotic, bro. That is so fucking idiotic. You know how upset I am now? Like, it doesn't make sense. Why the fuck does it... Why the fuck does it blow back row? Like, what is the point? Now, you know what would be cool with Trap Tricks? A Torrential Tribute. So, he can use the effect of, like, Strawman. I can chain Trap Tricks, right? Oh, Skull Deep with four? Oh wow, he's going to scold See, look, like if he uses the effect of the Burfamet, I can chain trap tricks, right? And then at, get a torrential, and then when he resolves the effect of Burfamet, well, I don't think no, I wouldn't be able to chain to that, so it doesn't really matter. See, like right here, I can chain trap trick and get a torrential, and then it would be pretty fun. But like I said, he's he probably has a strong uh, the five star in his hand, slip rider, no oh, four runner, okay. This is fantastic. This is just so fucking fantastic that the, the, the only, this, this, come on. I don't think I can respond to their effects, so there's nothing I can really do about that. I can't really respond to their effects. Yeah, I can't respond to the summon. Oh, I can? Oh, I didn't know I could. Oh, he didn't destroy two waters. He didn't destroy two waters. <gasps> We're winning, folks. We're winning. Oh, shit. See, bro, Torrential might actually be really fucking good in here. 
Torrential really might just be real fucking good in it. I just thought about that. Torrential really might be fucking good in this deck. Uh, 100 fucking percent that Torrential might be real good in this deck. Torrential really might be good in this deck. Torrential and Trap Tricks is broken. I just thought about that. Um, so yeah, we're going to activate that. <laughs> uh, if he has another fucking Cosmo in it, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. I played it. I played it accordingly. I played accordingly. Um, I don't care about this because you can special one non water. Yeah, I'm not gonna pop this. I'm gonna probably pop. Actually, I think I do. this coming defense. So I think I have to pop this. Um, Eric, yeah. Okay, here's this. So he's probably gonna have Dark Destroyer. Just my luck. Well, yeah, it is Dark Destroyer. So we're gonna put that right there. That's gonna give me a boost. It's gonna activate Dark Destroyer targeting probably my monster yeah and then we're going to just use this here um what did he declare an attack with we have to kill two cards that are just going to probably kill me um i think it has to be it definitely has to be skull deed because I, I don't want to die skull deed and probably true king baphomet i mean fatimer probably I'm not sure you know i just noticed he extravagance Wait, hold on, time out. Tribute summons, right? Okay, tribute summon. So we could pop uh, a, a pop and storm trouble would be pointless. Yeah, we just have to pop the ones that just don't reoccur. I mean, yeah, that reoccurs, but you guys get my drift. You guys get what I'm saying. Like, that's the only thing that can really do anything. We have to actually draw something here. That is not what the fuck we wanted to draw. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to kill me now. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's gonna. I'm pretty sure he's gonna have another Cosmo in his hand. It's just, it's just my luck. Um, this is really, really what it is. And oh, he doesn't have a Cosmo in his hand. That's crazy. All right, so we actually can come back if we draw a zombie, and we did draw a zombie, but that's not the zombie we wanted. But it's okay. It's okay because we can do some things with this. We can definitely. Oh, we can actually probably win here. Um, oh my god, we can come back and win. So we can use these two, right? Go to that. We can Mizuki out a sucker. We've already committed our normal summon, so we can Mizuki out a sucker. And then we could uh, special summon his Gamma, right? Actually, we could special summon his Gamma right now. Hmm. Oh my god, can we actually fucking win here? Well, it depends on what we draw here. It depends on what we draw. If we draw, um, actually, no, 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 no. We should, we should be able to win this. We should 100% be able to win this. I just thought about this. Uh, we could banish, banish a monster from the field, which is going to be Dark Destroyer, because yeah, it doesn't target. <gasps> we have drawn Solitaire. <gasps> oh yes, this is game. This is game, bro. We're going to return this Driver and Gamma, because those are cool. Um, oh, he quits. Oh shit! Oh wait, no, that's game two. That's game two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna return those three. Then we're gonna Mizuki back out um, a non-zombie because I didn't have. Oh no no! Oh I didn't return. Oh I actually would have. No no! I have Froyloin. I have Froyloin in my graveyard. So I would have Mizuki out a Froyloin. Um, I want to. Oh. Did he just quit? That was a match. Why did he quit? Oh wow, that sucks. That sucks. We're gonna get one more. We're gonna get a single game. But I was gonna Mizuki to further and go summon sorceress, target Jusha, bring out Gozuki, link those two off for a skull deep. Gozuki triggers, banishing. We probably should have fucking did spiritualist. We probably should have put spiritualist back, banishing spiritualist, special summon solitaire, spiritualist trigger, giving me. No, we already drew for spiritualist, so that would have been kind of pointless. Did we? No, we didn't draw for spiritualist that turn. I don't know what I'm talking about. So. We could have drew another card off of Spiritualist, discarded whatever that was, and then we could have attributed Solitaire, summoned uh, Unizombie, and then kept going from there, and we actually would have actually came back and won, because we could have easily went into a Western name, and he only had 30-something, 100 left, and we could have negated Slip Rider. We could have, yeah, actually, I think that might have been game, because Touche was 18 over Western, and he had 35 left. 18 over that, 28 over 200, that's 2,000. Oh, he would have been alive by a hot 300. And we probably would have lost after that. <laughs> Come to think about it, we probably would have lost. But I don't think so. 
Oh, sir. No, no, no. That is that was definitely a mistake, sir. You don't do that. Um, all right. So now we have a rivalry. Oh, yeah. You definitely don't do what you just did, sir. That was a. That is one big mistake you just did, sir. That is one big mistake. One big mistake, man. One big mistake. I'm gonna sit Bloom. I'm gonna activate Bloom's effect. We're gonna chain Banshee. Man, that was a good comeback, though. See, see how that all works out. See how that all works out. Now, Eradicator is a great card. I, I it is a great card. Um, Full Force Virus, I think, may have to come in this thing, and especially like, to, I think Mass Destruction will come back. Um, I didn't even talk about the YCS um, in this video. Uh, did I talk about it in last video? I don't know. I'm trying to think here. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to... Should we shotgun this shit? I don't want to. But I think we probably should. Let's see. You know what? No, let's see one card first. We got to see one card. Oh, there's a bear. That's, that's just fucking amazing. Uh, let's see one card first. Let's see one card for... Oh, there's a lone wolf. Oh, this is actually dope. Yeah, so we're just going to negate that guy. What are you banishing? Oh, no, it's Metaphys. Well, yeah, we'll just negate that. Um, matter of fact, what do you do? Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll actually banish that thing off the field. We'll banish that thing off the field. Um... I don't know if that was good. I love Lone Wolf, man. I really do love Lone Wolf. Did I? I, I don't. I'm not, I, I probably did. I don't know. I have to go look at the video. Hopefully, I did talk about it. But um, yeah. Uh, if I did not talk about it, then um, definitely Mass Destruction. Wait, did I talk? I think I. I, I I'm pretty sure I have now. Now, now that I remember, I definitely have. <laughs> I definitely 100% have. Okay. That's not a cost. That's cool. That's not a cost. So, it's gonna do that right there. Probably gonna get Rage Quit. Oh no. Holy fudge, he has what's the name in his hand? This oh, we might be in actual trouble. No, we're not, no, we're not. Never mind. We have uh we have rivalry and we also have Juicell coming back for the uh benefit of uh flash photography. I'm, I'm just playing, but uh yeah, we definitely have Juicell coming back. We also have Monster Born and Burial, so this game is like one thousand percent over. Um but yeah, man, to harp on the thing I was talking about in the first video, um yeah, so Mass Destruction is definitely the end. So I think Torrential and shit would be what an amazing pick for um to actually be main decked, especially with trap tricks. That's a trap, right? That's ascension, so that's cool. What ascension does. What does ascension do? It's not what I wanted. Wanted ascension. How does it exit when I do that? Um Okay, discard, draw, and you can banish from Metaphys. Discard is banished. Okay. Alright, that's cool. All that's fine. Except we're gonna negate this. We actually just banish it also. There's a foolish, so that's even better. He's gonna do this first. Um wait, what? Oh, discard and then draw a card and then banish. Okay. So hopefully you draw a spell. Oh, he has to resolve this first and then it shows me what he drew. Um, he doesn't have. This is draw. Fit. Okay, this is draw. Fit. I was about to say he doesn't have priority over me. So, oh no, he keeps the date list. So, um, yeah, mines should come out first, or do they all start a chain? No, okay, they don't start a chain. Okay, so. This one adds a benefits card, which we don't care. We can't negate it regardless, but we don't really care about it. Um, Daedalus is the one that, uh, what does Daedalus do? That's the one that banishes, right? I believe it does. I believe Daedalus is, yeah, I wanna, let me see real quick. One, this one's special summons, and the other one adds a monster to his hand. So that's, I mean, we can't really stop it, but I think the other one banishes and this one adds. So he should do this first and then activate. What's the name? The special summon, but then we'll chain rivalry. 
like I said, that'll probably get him to quit. Um, oh, my phone goes off right now. Um, hold on, folks. Phone call is going to have to wait. But, um, so let's see what we actually can do. Oh, he's going to banish another trap. Oh, that's dope. Now, that's, that's, that's real dope. So now he's using Tyrant Dragon. And Tyrant Dragon is the one that special summons. And then if we know what's in his hand, um, if this card is special summon, it's unaffected by traps. So we're just gonna chain that so he's not able to actually resolve any of that stuff. So that should be cool because they're all zombies and as far as I know, they're all worms. Oh, you didn't even wanna use this? Oh, during the standby phase of the next turn. That's wild. They really just shafted the whole entire arch deck. Boy, that's fine for us. Um, I don't know what they're even, I don't even know why he even has a response thing. Um, so we're going to foolish, yeah, we're going to just foolish that. Like I said, we don't want to really, we have bulb and bloom banish. Okay. Uh, yeah, we could, we could easily just get rid of that at any point in time. Like I said, we want to probably, why did I send that? What am I supposed to be doing here? Um, I guess we can go, we can still go summon sorcerers. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to draw a card. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot I have a what's the name, so. So we can do this, uh, target that, and then chain uh, Mr. Doom King. My God, Doom King is so goddamn good. And we're just going to banish his Eater Millions. Put some of that right there. And then what we're going to do here is go... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Are we... We're not... Oh, we're only restricted to zombies. I just thought about that. Um, so, yeah. We're going to go... Uh, actually, we could tribute this and get out the Sunset. A Sunset. Oh, wait. Yeah. We're going to tribute this. Bring out Sunset. Like I said, we can link these two off for... We can actually go Spirit Saga, Necro Dragon as well. Um, what do we want to do here? I want to draw some cards. Let's draw some cards here, folks. Let's draw some cards. Um, burial. Let's return one, two, and three. Yeah, uh, Bloom's, you know, pretty much it's only one target, so yeah, there's no reason to really do that. We're going to resolve Mizuki. We're going to special summon Mizuki because, like I said, we're going to just be using it real quick. Draw a card. There's a designator by the grave. We're going to go into Spirit Saga. Uh, we're going to use this. Then we're going to banish. Uh, and banish Solitaire. All gain 300. Don't want to destroy a spell and trap, though. We're going to use Mizuki for Sunset. Then we're gonna get two more cards off the sun. My god, man, I was doing this combo so much at the regionals. It was so fucking fun. But the the the, the problem though is we don't have any like generic what's the names? Like there there's no generic uh Oh wait, I used my other sucker. That was another problem I ran into. Um yeah, using all of my shit too early. But he has eight thousand, right? Oh, we can kill him. I just thought about this. We can definitely kill him. Thought about this. Um, and then we can just discard uh, what's the name from our hand. We didn't even have to discard, really, but we're just going to do it in good faith. We're just going to do it in good faith. Bam. Use that effect. And since we know what he has in his hand, we'll just banish Doom King. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was uh, that. was that. So I'll be right back with the deck list. All right, folks, so once again, this is the deck list, and I have took out three cards out of my side deck. What would those be? What the hell? What am I missing out of my side deck? Oh, the Eradicators. The Eradicators were in the side deck, but I did take them out, so I was already at a disadvantage. But yeah, um, this is the deck list. Like I said, I'm just working on it. This is what I took. Would I play this deck again? Possibly, I, I I don't know. I just don't I just don't like waiting on my opponent. Now, if you're going to a long tournament, this uh, this type of deck is better for is better suited for that. But I I was just stuck too many times, um, not really I'm not able to advance the game. See, like I said, the the best time that I had was going into Sade, 
I mean, going into Sunset and then bringing out two. But then once again, with Sunset, since she locks you straight to zombies, you, there's no real zombie, you know, extra deck monster. Like we can go to one right now. We can go to zombies, and like I said, we'll just go to like the synchros. Um, like I said, the best synchro we really got, but none of them are interactive on our opponent's turn. Um, so that's once again, like this is the only one that's really interactive on our opponent's turn. What does this even do? Yeah, see, this doesn't even do anything. None of these do anything. If we go to um, XYZs, um, Zombie Stein is like that, but like I said, we're not playing <laughs> any. We're not playing uh, any level eight. And we're playing one level eight zombie. I mean, we have two technically, but come on now. We're not going into like, so, like this is cool. Once again, it's not, uh, it doesn't interact with our opponent. Pilgrim Reaper doesn't like nothing we can go into really interact into our opponent. Um, this interacts with our opponent, but like I said, um, that's the only problem with like sunset and stuff is that we cannot interact with our opponent. So we're basically just sitting there waiting. And that's what a rivalry should come in. But since there's so many decks that are playing the same type or, you know, able to just like out to zombie world or just, you know, just, just basically play around the rivalry. Well, in my case, when I played, um, when I drew rivalry in zombie world, um, it, I mean, sometimes it stopped my opponent, but other times it just got negated. It got popped or something happened where it just, it, it, where it didn't even matter because you were just able to just run with the monsters they got and that that's the problem i found with this deck is that it's very conservative and it's very wait 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 it's very back and forthy um and you know it, it it is cool at some points but like i said if you're going to a long tournament i would suggest a deck like this you don't have to basically rely on um a whole bunch of uh what do you call it a whole bunch of combo cards a whole bunch of combo pieces so you're going to be able to you know consistently play and consistently do and that's the only thing i did like is that i was able to consistently stay in the game no matter what you know no matter what it was but at the same token nah man i, I it's just not me not my style because i was like i said it was too many times if i drew one monster or if i drew two monsters or if i drew three monsters and then like a couple of back row um, as you can see, we, we don't really have any offensive stuff. Like, we just have straight um, defense. Like, this is kind of, like, this is mostly defense because it's a trap. Uh, like I said, the hand traps. Um, I, like I said, I had good time hit, but I probably should just play more blooms. That's probably my problem. But then, like, I was getting my boom ashed, stuff like that. And, and it, it's literally just still, though, summon one and hope your opponent doesn't have a, really a hand trap. I mean, the call by the graves are cool, but yeah man i don't know maybe i just had a bad luck with this maybe the deck i built is bad like i said maybe i should go more blooms and more Druchelles. but if you draw a Druchelle, that is probably the worst card you can ever have in your hand because you literally cannot do anything with it you have to try to get it to the grave so i'm not sure man i'll probably just try to bump up the blooms and shit put that to three i'm kind of thinking probably throwing Froilon. Froilon was amazing when i drew her my god is even when i didn't draw i'm able to search her with bloom so possibly because i did side bloom so I, I possibly just you know that's what i'm gonna do next week i'm gonna try with three or you guys give me your suggestions i definitely know that this i'm pretty sure most of you guys are gonna say put this to three um yeah so i think that might be a better starter play but um, once again, man, if you get hit with that hand trap, it is very crucial. And then this is pretty much a waiting game. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And uh, definitely check out my first video to see how my thoughts on the YCS and um, my uh, regional, um, uh, basically my regional report and stuff like that. But besides that, I'll be back tomorrow with a special deck from a special request from my guy that I met at the Dean of Regionals. He said he watches my videos. So shout out to you, Benito. We're going to play that deck tomorrow. You guys are going to have to watch out. There's definitely a special surprise. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And also, if you guys want to help the channel out, links are in the description down below for that to happen. Thank you to my Patreon subscribers. And thank you if you guys do decide to become one of those. And uh, yeah, man, I will see you guys tomorrow.